Here in Joshua Tree National Park, we are at the Hidden Valley Trailhead. Uh, the history on it is that the old cattle rustlers used to drive the cattle down here and hide them in the in the big rock formation. They were pretty hard to hard to find once they got them up here. So we might we might hide some people up here too. What do you think, Ma? Think we should hide them up here? She's trying her darn to stay out of this, but it's not going to work very well. But yeah, it's a mile loop. Looks pretty easy, so we're going to try to knock this out and then um, get to where we can see the sunset, which will be in about, oh, about an hour or so. Anything else to add? I didn't hear what you said. Did I, you I said all of the, Valley yep, I gave them all, all of the news. Oh, all the things. Yep, all the things. We're at Joshua Tree. I already said that. It looked like it was going to be really hot. I didn't say in that. The desert. It's actually not. It's, it's in the It's kind of chilly. We're in Hidden Valley. You already told them about the cows being stolen. Yep. Not like the ranch. Not like the ranch. Because when we pulled up, I was like, oh, Hidden Valley, like the ranch. We have Grandma with us. We found a hike that, this. these were his words, not mine, designed for small children and old people. Yeah. <laughs> we have big children and not really that old, his mother. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but you can see the Josh, the very unique Joshua trees in the back here. I won't point to them because we've already had that conversation about how I point to stuff, but they're all over the place and they're really cool looking. Everywhere. It's kind of a combination of a palm tree, a cactus, and a wool, something, a woolly bear is what I said. Anyway, we're going to do this hike so we can get back and see the sunset. Here we go. What'd you say? This, this would be a good spot so for a this, stolen cattle. This would be a good place to hide your stolen cattle. <laughs> yeah. Because you yeah, you'd yeah. have to you'd have to come into this area to find this, but there's plenty of grazing space for your cattle. Yep. And I'm sure they had cowboys posted around the outside to prevent people from catching them. Mother, where, but, are, we, where are we gonna go to steal our cattle? Just a second. So they said people stole cattle from Arizona and horses from California. These, these wild cowboys. So yeah, we hiked uh, about half of it, I think. The Hidden Valley, uh, Hidden Valley Trail here at Joshua Tree. Lots of people still, again, everywhere in California. There's just lots of people everywhere. Like we'll go through a section and then it just gets, it gets clogged with people. Super cool spot. We're gonna try to catch, try to catch something. See, more people. And then more people back there. People everywhere. Trying to catch a, uh, uh, sunset spot here coming up super super cool foliage we've got Joshua trees everywhere Brielle touched a cactus that she <laughs> thought was soft but it looks like it, it had it felt soft but now there's little spikes in here got spikes in her thumb. it felt fuzzy but now there's little red spikes I don't think in I my have hand. them and I touched the same cactus don't touch like cactuses. I, I pet it too hard, I guess. Like that's yeah, the, don't pet a cactus. Don't pet a cactus, yeah. It if was you're gonna, a soft cactus. If you're gonna, right from if you're gonna pet a cactus, just don't. It was grandma's idea. Don't. Grandma, it was your idea. You find a lizard? Well, well let's catch it. Mommy and grandma it. <laughs> so, we went off the trail a little bit. And we risked our lives. Yes, we risked our lives. We climbed up some rocks. And we got up to like the rim. Sunny did not. Neither I did. don't risk my life. Neither did Grandma. <laughs> she no, stayed back. We were the smart ones because we did not risk it. I, I agree. <laughs> the children. You agree. The, the children, children. And Daddy. The children. Oh, good. And Daddy. All, all of the children. Athletic. Daddy's an honorary I, I child. That's right. <laughs> um, any, <laughs> anyway, um, so we went up to like the top of the valley up there, except on that side. And we got to watch up there. Right and there. Sunset. It was really cool. Was right However, <laughs> you need to be athletic and not scared of heights. I mean, not and probably within reason. I did it. I have short legs. Both things, which I, I am. Mother, I have short legs. 
picture of us. Uh -huh. But the kids still thought they were going to have to helicopter you out. They did. They were like, what if daddy falls and breaks his legs? Well, we almost played a joke on you. Your mom was going to sit on the ground. Act and, like she was injured. Act like she was injured. <laughs> And then I was gonna like flip out, like, why did you take so long? Your mom's been down here laying here waiting for you to come. Back. That actually would have been pretty good. That would have been yeah. really. But then you took so long coming. Beneath the shadows of this quiet town. See you there, your feathers on the ground. Your eyes are heavy with the weight of the world. What's in the life you never could offer? Even if you've never flown before. You can take a chance and try once more Don't let your worries weigh you down, down, down You can still take five Although you're earthbound We're in the oasis over by the Cottonwood area of Joshua Tree National Park. And Brielle has learned some facts in preparation for our video. Um, here in the Cottonwood Springs, this was the oasis where you would try to get to and you, could, you would actually want to stay here longer than necessary. And people would come here to store up on water and stuff like that. And then you would keep going on your travels. There was also the, yeah, <laughs> I, I don't know if it's pronounced Quahila, Kahila, not sure, tribe that lived in this area and made this area home for, a, they think, at least a thousand years because it, it was so lush compared to the rest of the desert out here. Something that I found fascinating that I didn't know, because I've seen palm trees all over in different places with their long skinny trunks and their leaves on top. I didn't know that this is what they do out in the wild. I assume they're groomed to make them look a certain way and maybe to make them less of a fire hazard. <laughs> it is interesting being out here and seeing palm trees just in the wild without any sort of grooming on them like you normally see. Also, uh, this area has a lot of mesquite wood too, which all I know about it is that Brandon likes to use mesquite wood when he's smoking meat. So. Beef. Oh, beef specifically. So. It's pretty harsh for pork and chicken. There you go. Now I've learned a few new things from it. <laughs> <laughs> We're learning a lot. It's not super crowded in this part of the park today, which is nice. The weather's perfect. So we'll see what else we can learn. Steel has gone along the trail. There's a gold mine coming is what we've read. So we'll see when we get there.
oh, 0.1 miles. Can you believe it, Brielle? She can't oh, go another step. It's, it's too much, isn't it? Uh-huh. Yeah. Feels ready. He's, He's already up there. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Okay, so they are going up to the top of Mastodon Peak. It's an unmaintained trail. So I am not doing that. I went about part way up. And then I'm just going to sit here and look at the view. Because again, I don't like heights. And this is a beautiful view from here without being too scary. I'm like halfway up Mastodon. So it is really weird being out here. There's almost no one out here today. And of course we're in the desert. So it almost feels like I'm on another planet. It's very peaceful. Um, there's also no cell phone signal. So if you're looking for a national park where you can really escape and get away from hustle and bustle or anything like that, Joshua Tree is excellent for that. Um, it's kind of hard to imagine tribes living out here without anything for miles around, um, but definitely a really cool place to experience and just relax. And the weather is, is ideal because it's a clear, beautiful day, but it's not hot. Next time, make sure you grab the water. Oops. Sunday didn't want to make it up here. Kids made it up. Oh, I would definitely make it up. <laughs> yeah, I knew there was no stopping you. It's a pretty steep climb, but it's super cool. Like so this is southern part of the park, Joshua Tree. Parking lots over there, Cottonwood Trail area. And then as we come back this way, that's the north end of the park over in that direction. That's where we're at a few days ago. Yeah. Back in that area over there. But yeah, really, really cool spots. Well, you might because it never struck it rich. There might still be so some down in there. there. The vein might still be in there. So give me some facts. Spit facts. So, Mastodon Mine, established in the 1930s. It's one of 300 within Joshua Tree National Park. Never struck it rich though. Also, mines apparently become homes to bats, but they can get a fungus from humans, so they don't want humans down there. Also, you could get trapped or die in the mine. With but bats. Well, you will also With be bats. fine. You, so you'll die. Or if you make it out alive, you'll get fine. What if, you're, what if you're already fine? Give the bats a fungus. Ha! Nice. And you'll kill bats oh. just by yeah. being in there. So. But you can see down into Mastodon Mine, and that is really cool. With nearly 800,000 acres, there is a lot to see and do in Joshua Tree National Park. We enjoyed hiking, we're in Seal's Case, running around and climbing on the rocks. It was a great place to burn off some steam. There are hikes suitable for all ages as well, and plenty of rock formations, cacti, Joshua trees, and more to experience while you're there. Do be aware, however, that a lot of the trails are sandy, so we all had to dump out our shoes when we were done, and it did make the path a little more challenging than it would have been otherwise. Joshua Tree National Park is also a designated international dark sky park, so if you like to stargaze, you can do that here too.
is the Toya Cactus Garden. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to walk around. It's a little loop over here. It looks pretty cool. As we were pulling up, Brandon was like, ah, is that going to be cool? And he's like, wow, look at all the cactus. It's going to be really cool. I do have to say, those people walked right past the sign that said no dogs with their dog. Mm -hmm. Or it says no pets. Yeah, so this National no Park pets is are allowed not in Joshua very, Tree. very pet friendly. So that's why Reggie's not with us. Despite our playing around, we didn't actually touch any of the cacti, which I guess was a good thing because apparently those spines are quite stubborn and difficult to remove and painful in the process. The Choya Cactus Garden is a great area to visit because there's an easy 0.2 mile loop trail that goes through. You could run through the whole thing in about four or five minutes. But if you want to take time, it really is a beautiful area, and I've heard it's stunning at sunrise. We were closer to sunset, but still found it beautiful. <laughs> we're at Skull Rock in Joshua Tree National Park. Kind of looks like a gorilla skull. Steele really wanted to come here and climb on some rocks, so I'm glad we did. It's still light. We were worried it might be dark. It's getting close, yeah. The sun is down, you just have the haze now, so. And it's 4.41 p.m. And it's chilly. <laughs> and it's, yeah, it's getting cold now. I mean, it's not like but Denver cold, is, but. <laughs> yeah, thank goodness it's not snowing and but icy. Wear long pants. <laughs> and probably a, a jacket. jacket. But yeah, this is, this is a fun area. Lots of people are climbing on the rock, and it looks very different than the cactus garden and the cottonwood area where we've been. This park is cool because there's a lot of different areas where it looks totally different. Yep.